It was one of the most dangerous postings in the U.S. military, eastern Afghanistan's Korangal Valley, depicted in the documentary Restrepo. My purpose was combat. That's what I was trained for. It's what I was good at. James Ritchie was there. Pretty uh, intense fighting at some points. When Ritchie came home, he fell apart. Sat around, got really out of shape, and then started self-medicating. Um, alcohol, I got really good at alcohol. Um, pain medication, uh, couldn't get enough of it. Um, I said no uh, to the diagnosis, I said no to the drugs, and I was quite happy to self-medicate and blow my brains out. I was good to go with that. Army veteran Dusty Baxley and retired Marine Kevin Sakaki also returned home with PTSD. Zoloft, Xanax, there was one for blood pressure to counter the side effects of the other. They all finally found the help they needed at Boulder Crest Retreat in Bluemont, Virginia, the first privately funded nonprofit wellness center for veterans and their families healing from combat-related stress. Medications and traditional therapy teach you how to live with a diminished version of yourself. And that's not what life's about. Boulder Crest was founded by Ken Falk, a 21-year combat veteran who served as a Navy bomb disposal officer. Life's about thriving, being the best version of yourself you can be. And that's what, that's what Warrior Path's all about. The Warrior Path is an 18-month program, beginning with an intensive seven days of training, focusing on post-traumatic growth. So we stick with things that are time-tested, yoga, meditation, horses, warrior tradition uh, tools like archery, kayaking. And these aren't recreational. There is actually work being done and training going on. Some of the instructors have been through the program themselves. They teach transcendental meditation and deep breathing techniques. Breathing in for four, for a four count, holding it for a seven count, and breathing out for an eight count. And something that, that simple overrides the nervous system and gives the body permission to just relax. One of the most meaningful parts of the Warrior Path program is this labyrinth. Its design is based on ancient warrior traditions. It enables the veteran to leave his or her warrior past behind and find a new center from which to grow. Stuff that happened in combat doesn't define who we are. It defines what happened to us. We really believe that the past is an important part of the education process and part of your story. This high impact, short duration program is a beautiful symphony a pressure and release and education, moments to disclose, moments to get self-regulation, and be able to write your new story, to get out of the old story, and get back to being you again, and believing in yourself. In Bluemont, Virginia, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9.